Hey guys, Rusty here from Blue Robotics, and today I'm going to show you how to solder wires onto the M100 and M200 series motors. Um, I've got a couple things here. I've got an M100 motor. Um, I've got a few wires that have already had the ends uh, cut and stripped. Um, and then I've got a syringe with marine epoxy that we're going to use to seal the wires once we uh, get them soldered. Uh, so I'm actually going to start here by tinning the ends, the stripped ends of these three wires. Uh, that's going to help us keep the ends of the wires together and it'll make the solder flow a little faster once we actually are soldering into the motor. So I'm using a hot soldering iron here and just going to add a little bit of solder to the end of each wire. I'm going to do the same thing with the motor, adding a little bit of solder to each pad. Um, that's going to help the solder flow easily and we won't actually, ha actually have to add any solder as we're connecting the wire. We'll just have to connect the tinned wire to the tinned pad. Um, I'm just going to add enough so that we've got a little, a little bump of solder on each pad. Uh, you can see what that should look like in this close-up here. All right, now I'm going to solder each wire uh, to the three motor pads. Um, and I'm not going to add any more solder here. I'm just going to heat up the motor pad, insert the wire, then remove the heat and let it cool while I continue to hold the wire there. I'll start off to the my far right. And these can go pretty quick. You want to make sure that you are uh, that the wires are clear of the metal casing of the motor. When you're done, you just want to wiggle each wire and make sure that the solder connection is solid and that nothing's loose or going to break off. Definitely want to do that before you seal it. Uh, you also want to look at it carefully and make sure that none of the connections are touching. Uh, it's actually a good idea to run the motor real fast with a speed controller just to make absolutely sure before you seal it. Uh, so the next thing we're going to do is seal it. I've already got this uh, syringe here with a narrow tipped needle. Um, this epoxy was just mixed up a few minutes ago and I'm going to use that to seal this up. So I'm going to start at the back and just kind of squeeze the epoxy in there, making sure that it fills all of the gaps between the wires. Once I've got the bottom, I'm going to flip it over and make sure that I uh, seal the top too, adding a little extra if you need to. That's it. You give that a few hours to dry and the motor's ready to go.